Hello my YouTube friends, it's Clayton Phillips, sales manager here at Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And yes, as usual, I am all fired up here at our dealership because I get to shoot a video on one of our newest arrivals to our store, the all new Grand Design RV MAV. Now, I've been told that MAV stands for Momentum Adventure Vehicle. I kind of like it. I mean, Momentum Adventure Vehicle sounds pretty cool. Multi-purpose adventure vehicle. Um, this is a toy hauler, but it's also an adventure hauler. So it's going to be able to haul all your toys if you don't have quads, motorbikes, uh, ATVs, whatever. But you've got kayaks, you've got mountain bikes, you've got all sorts of wonderful, cool gear um, that you want to pack with you wherever you go. The Momentum adventure vehicle the mav by grand design rv may be right for you now this is built off of a similar uh, they're using a similar construction to the grand design transcend which we'll get into uh, but this particular tra uh, travel trailer friends is 32 feet three inches in length now in grand design measures that's from the coupler up front here on the front of the trailer to the rear wall um, one of the neat things with this trailer is they're also including the rear deck package as well, which gives you that full uh, railing and patio enclosure to be able to enjoy the outdoors if you're out camping in a spot or an area that might be a little bit muddy. Um, if you've got some puppies or children that you want to be able to contain slightly um, while you're inside the trailer and allow them to get outside, if you will, uh, you've got that right here in this rear rear deck. It's also the ramp door that they've built into it as well. One of the really neat things um, is the fact that this particular travel trailer in its class is the widest. So this is built just like what you would have in a regular momentum travel trailer fifth wheel at 101 inches wide. Most of the travel trailer toy haulers friends in the industry at this level or price point are going to be your typical eight foot wide trailers. So what's really nice about the Mab friends is if you've got a uh, let's say a quad that's got a wider stance, you got a side by side or something that's a little bit wider, you're just packing more gear with you. That extra width um, just translates into more storage on the inside, which is really, really nice. Um, the dry weight on this particular travel trailer friends is 6,835 pounds. So if you got a half ton, the right half ton, check your specs always, you can pull this trailer, which is really nice. The GVWR is 10,995 pounds, which gives you 4,160 or yeah, 160 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. So again, with Grand Design Friends, you can put all of that weight on the inside of the trailer and toys. Uh, you're not limited to you know, uh, sp spreading it out throughout the trailer. That's one of Grand Design's things. Whatever the cargo carrying capacity is of the toy hauler, you can put it all in the garage, uh, which is really, really nice. Um, 96 gallons worth of fresh capacity, 74 gallons of gray, and 37 gallons of black. Uh, for your toilet so beautiful beautiful tank capacities on this grand design mav this is the 27 mav is the model number so um, one of the things again i mentioned earlier they're using a similar construction to or the same construction as the transcend which is a very rugged very robust uh, construction that they're putting on the side walls of the of the mav as well as the transcend that's different from every other um, aluminum skinned trailer in the industry. They're using a far thicker gauge alloy. So uh, your front alloy paneling, uh, they use an 040 thickness, which is much thicker. Um, and then they're using an 030 thickness down the side for the paneling as well. Um, so it's just more uh, less susceptible to hail damage, uh, road wear, uh, those sorts of things, abrasion. We've never had, we've been selling the Transcend here at our dealership uh, for a few years now. We've had a few hail storms go through. We typically get a couple each year. Zero hail damage, zero hail sales, where other dealers down the road that have a thinner alloy on their product uh, are usually having those fire sales to get rid of the, the trailers with all the dents on the outside. So again, Grand Design investing into uh, that type of product. Again, this is not an entry level trailer same thing we say on the transcend it's not an entry level trailer but it's grand designs entry into the segment into the travel trailer segment if you will um, 
at a much lower price point for them. So um, one of the things true to form, you're going to see a lot of DNA items, uh, golden thread of consistency items, uh, full pass-through storage, 43 cubic feet. Actually, because this is wider, this will actually give you a little more cargo carrying capacity than what you would get with a Transcend being a wider trailer, but still radiusing the front wall, motion sensor lights, dual on each side, um, beautiful pass-through storage, big, big opening. You've got the uh, solar charge controller there. There's a 165 watt solar panel up on the roof, which we'll show you when we jump up on the roof as we do. Uh, and then your enclosed utility center. So you can run your fresh water line up through this porthole access, hook up your city water connection, fill up your fresh water tank through your city water connection. There will also be a gravity fill on this trailer as well. You just fill, flip this lever up to fresh tank fill and it'll fill up that 90 six gallon fresh water capacity as well solar charge controller or sorry regular um, uh, monitor 110 plug all the stuff there for you so beautiful beautiful storage compartment uh, that grand design puts on the on the mav the other thing true to form fully enclosed insulated heated underbelly in the MAV as well. So with that furnace running, which is a 35,000 BTU furnace, it's going to pump heat down into that cavity, creating a nice air pocket there for your for your tanks if you want to do some colder weather use as well. Um, Grand Design also uses, friends, the Dexter towing system on all their trailers. North American made, five-year warranty on the axles, uh, never adjust brakes, easy lube hubs, uh, if you want to do a wheel bearing repack, you can do it right in your driveway. Uh, Dexter has some great videos on their website to be able to show you how to do that. So again, that's a 75R 15-inch uh, tire, ST225. Uh, you got a port, uh, spray port access as well, so you can hook up a, a coil hose that comes with the trailer, plug it in there with the sprayer, sprayer nozzle, and wash off your machines, your bikes, uh, anything that you might want to put inside the trailer. Uh, to be able to keep it nice and clean before you put it in. Um, kind of, again, folding ladder on the side of the trailer to be able to access the roof. Again, friends, every Grand Design RV produced has a ladder on it to be able to access that roof. And they're using that same roof construction on all of their trailers. It doesn't matter whether it's a Mav, a Transcend, a Solitude, Momentum, Reflection, all the brands, they've got that. Again, they've got a great roof on the product, so why not put it on all of them? So cool thing with the... Uh, the railing is this will swing open. You could get a little step stool here, be able to jump on and off the, the deck there as well. So, okay. We're gonna uh, jump up on the roof here. Great big awning, sorry. 19 foot uh, power awning on this trailer as well. So I'm gonna stop the feed here and I'm gonna hop up on the roof. Just one moment. All right, friends, we're on the roof of this 2024 that's right, I didn't say it before, it's a 2024 model. Uh, Grand Design Mav, 27 MAV, multi-purpose adventure trailer. And we are up front here. We optioned in the second AC on this particular trailer. I just felt putting the second AC on gives a little extra cooling power, especially if you're opening up that rear hatch, letting the cool air escape. You close it up, it's gonna cool down the area a little quicker as well. Uh, right up front here, we also have that 165 watt Furion solar panel directly wired up to those batteries. So no matter where you're at, you're going to get that charge going right to your batteries. So uh, again, Grand Design, same roof on all their trailers. It's a 16 inch on center wood truss with a wood decking. They put a TPO roof membrane on here by Alpha, uh, Alpha Superflex, and that uh, has an 18 year warranty on it. Uh, so far superior product, lays down real flat, less creases and bubbles, more abrasion resistant, and it helps reflect the, uh, the heat away um, uh, in the day as well. But again, true to form for Grand Design for all their roofs, they put attic vents in their trailers, friends. That allows the roof to breathe if you're showering inside. You know, you're cooking, washing dishes, cleaning, your, you know, um, your propane heat has moisture in it. That allows that moisture to escape. Be careful, a lot of the laminated roofs uh, in the industry, friends, allow for a sweating on the inside of the trailer. You can get condensation building up on the walls and on the roof inside your trailer. Um, so be aware of that. Um, with Grand Design, you don't have to worry about that happening. Uh, with those attic vents, really helps reduce that happening. So, um, again, your WineGuard TV antenna, lots of vents in the Grand Design trailer. So this one will be above your living area, 
This one will be right at your entry. And then this one will be, uh, I'm going to say right, yeah, right in your bathroom as well. The vent that would normally be where this air conditioner is above your bedroom is filled with an air conditioner. So they also put skylights above all their showers. It's funny, we see a lot of trailers in the industry, friends, where they literally will use the vent as the skylight above the shower. The nice thing with that skylight is it's larger and it gives you a little extra headroom if you're um, a taller person, need a little more room. 84 inch interior height as well. But you'll see lots of, uh, lots of thick sealant around the trailer. Um, this does not have a slide out in it, but if it did, you'd be able to walk on the slide box. That's one of Grand Design DNA items, walk on slide boxes to be able to clean those things off. This particular trailer doesn't have it. So we're gonna jump down and uh, head inside. Just a moment. Okay, we're gonna head inside the MAV 27 MAV. Triple entry step, lend a hand, grab a handle. Outside speakers on this, this does have the Rockford Fosgate uh, stereo system, so a beautiful sound, great speaker system, great stereo. You can connect Bluetooth to your phone, play all your favorite songs, that sort of thing. So one of the things I wanted to touch on first, and then we'll get into the size of the, hall, the, the garage portion, is the decking for your floor is actually one inch thick. It's not a 3 8 5 8 tongue and groove or not. Um, this is actually a one piece floor. So if you were to remove the vinyl, there are actually zero seams in the floor of this trailer. Okay, it's the same decking that they're using in their solitudes, their momentums. Again, it's 101 inches wide. They actually ship it in on big trucks. It's 100 and 102 inches wide, I believe. They shave down the one side to make it fit. Um, but the beautiful thing without having seams on the floor of your trailer is they're not a squeak point. So over time, as your trailer flexes and stresses going down the road, um, when you don't have seams in your trailer, it's just no points for things to loosen up, to shrink that would cause squeaking or popping or cracking. Um, and the other nice thing, being a toy hauler, you're probably going to be carrying some heavier loads inside the trailer. By having no seams, again, less chance of that happening and soft spots developing on the floor of your trailer. So again, no seams, front to back, side to side, beautiful floor, one inch thick, they call it their big board uh, floor. Uh, very, very solid when you walk around in on the trailer. The other thing is they dovetail the back end, uh, back end of the trailer often with uh, toy haulers at this price point. That's one thing they're eliminating uh, to save on price. Grand Design, they're putting that dovetail in just to give you a little easier transition if you have something a little lower that you want to bring inside um, the trailer. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven tie downs inside the floor of this trailer as well. Every single one of them is rated for 2,500 pounds. So you can cinch down that quad, that side by side uh, really easily, which is good. Don't want things moving around inside the trailer. Now, the length of the garage from the rear door to the fridge is 13 feet, six inches. So very long garage, which is nice. The other thing is that you are 75 inches wide from the narrowest point inside your kitchen. So from here, to this wall is 75 inches wide, which is 6.25 feet. So again, take those measurements, have a look at your machines. I'm gonna say pretty much every side-by-side, -side, um, you know, conventional side-by-side -side will fit. Uh, height will play a factor, of course. You're 84 inches from floor to ceiling in here, so you do have quite a tall ceiling, but it doesn't, the ceiling, the roof height doesn't pitch up to give you increased space. So you're gonna have to be aware of, you know, if you do have a side-by-side -side with a roof on it and you got a big jacked up lifted machine, it might not fit, um, but you'd have to do all the measurements and, and, and have a look at that. But again, 84 inches from the floor to the ceiling in this, giving you lots of height for most of your, your stock machines and that sort of thing. So again, 6.25 feet from wall to kitchen cabinetry should accommodate most of the stuff you're probably going to want to haul again this is a i'm calling it multi-purpose adventure vehicle because this is a great space to be able to haul any type of uh, toy that you want to bring it doesn't have to be motorized right um, you've got two full-size queen beds uh, both sofas uh, rollover sofas the backrest rolls over to the middle the backrest rolls over to the middle and you're going to be able to have a nice big bed both sofas will fold up and fold up this way against the wall okay so be aware of that 
and then really cool system. It's not your typical Happy Jack electric drop down bed, which are super expensive um, and quite heavy, uh, but you've got a full queen size bed right up here and it just drops down to this height right here. I'm not gonna fold it down for you, but you've got a really nice bed there. So if you've got friends, family members that come in, you got two adults uh, that you wanna sleep up on the bed, does have a ladder that will come with it, hooks onto these two hooks right here, okay? Um, you've got a beautiful, beautiful bed for them. Two, two full queen size beds, if you will. So I mentioned earlier that having the patio package is kind of nice. If you've got kids, you want to keep a little more contained. If you've got dogs, you're out in the wilderness someplace um, and you're preparing a meal inside and you want to, you know, don't want the dogs wandering off. Um, you know, having the railing here allows them to wander out and have a look around with keeping them a little bit more contained. So uh, I don't know. I, I just think it's a really nice setup that way. So rear vision camera prep as well. Uh, you've got the backup lights on the trailer also. So they just have done a really nice job with the, the features of this trailer. Lots of counter space you'll see with this particular floor plan, lots of drawers. This has the same interior cabinetry that the reflection used to have. Uh, so it's a darker cabinet, but all solid wood, fully stained. Um, you know, it's just a really nice, nice proper door. It's not a paper wrap door that you find OSB particle board wrapped in paper. We're seeing that a lot in the industry. Again, Grand Design doing things smart, you know, adding shelves inside their cabinetry to be able to give you double the amount of storage. So huge amounts of storage in this 27 Mav. So no shortage of being able to pack pack gear. Um, the other thing I've been told is that there's backer board in this wall here. So if you wanted to add hooks and things of that nature to be able to hang helmets or things, whatever you want to do, you can, you can mount away uh, from what I've been told. So <clears throat> um, I also am showing you the table folded out. Uh, now this table, actually the legs fold up underneath and that gets stored underneath the mattress up front. There's a couple of straps there to strap it down, but it's a massive tabletop. What's really neat about it is it doesn't just serve as a table. It could actually be prep. So you can actually extend these legs even longer. You've got a couple of different settings, a couple of extra slots there. So if you wanted to turn it into like a bar top or raise the countertop height to be able to do meal prep similar to the countertop height that you'd find in your kitchen, you can do that. And this is totally movable. You can take it outside. You could set it up on your rear patio, um, you know, set it up in between these two uh, sofas here. So you've just got a lot of uh, flexibility with the table and it's easy to move around. It's got the same material as the countertop. Just a really nice setup that way. So again, just shooting around microwave, nice down, nice and low for little ones. If you needed extra counter space, spot for a TV if you wanna mount it. So lots of drawers. It's one thing you get with Grand Design, lots of drawers, lots of plugins, lots of lighting. Now I didn't hook up the battery pack on this trailer to show off all the lighting, but there is lighting everywhere in this trailer. And you'll just see how bright the inside of this trailer is without the lights on, which is nice. Just the nice big windows that Grand Design puts in. Like that's a big, big window in your kitchen. Real nice setup. So, <clears throat> oh, oh, and no heat ducts in the floor as well. Grand Design DNA item. One piece floor, no seams, no heat ducts to trap all the dirt and debris and dog hair and things of that nature. They poured all their heat ducts out through their cabinetry like there's one right there. So great big shower, skylight. It's got the Nautilus shower curtain, porcelain toilet, beautiful storage, drawer, vanity. They just do not, such a nice job. Barn style sliding door. And then up here, You've got storage on either side of your bed, storage above, storage underneath the bed, right there. Remember 4,100 and what I say, 60 pounds of cargo carrying capacity is gigantic. This is new. So they got the little cutouts on either side of the bed with USB plugs, 110, you got a CPAP machine you need to plug in, just a little extra storage. If you're sleeping there at night, it doesn't feel like you got a cupboard right in your right against your nose, which is cool. And then you've got uh, two two more drawers here in your bedroom, two of that size, and then you've got uh, a nice hanging wardrobe as well. 
So that pretty much uh, covers it. Um, again, my name's Clayton Phillips. I'm the uh, GSM here at Woody's RV in Leduc and uh, showing you a video tour of the all new 2024 Grand Design RV Mav Momentum Adventure Vehicle, Multi-Purpose Adventure Vehicle. Take anywhere, take anyone, take anything uh, you want with this particular travel trailer. And yes, it is half ton towable. So we'd love to host you to our dealership. We're 15 minutes south of Edmonton and uh, we've got this one ready to rock and roll for you. So, and it's at the same price point as the Transcend Travel Trailers. Beautiful thing. Now uh, you're not paying too much either. So again, take care, be safe, have fun. Bye Frank. There's Frank, our new lot man. He's legendary or becoming legendary. YouTube famous, buddy. All right, see you guys, take care, have fun.